Hello Millies, welcome back to Doll Mill. Well, this one has been a long time coming. Quite a few of you asked me if I could make a particular custom about this great show on Netflix, and as a fan of the show myself, there was no way I could refuse. So sit tight and enjoy this Stranger Things custom special. We all know which character I had to go for. What would the show be without her, am I right? I made a little clutch to use as a reference for Eleven's clothes and style, and tried my best to draw her eyes in a slightly cartoony version. I consider using my last Draculaura for this costume because the skin tone is one of the most natural ones from the Monster High gang, but her face shape just wasn't right. Uh, Eleven doesn't have such a round face, but she, she's got more of a longer shaped one. So after going through the doll box, I found this little one. I forget her name, but I know she's from the Fusion series, right? Do you guys know which characters are fused together? Anyway, she has the perfect face shape for Eleven, and I was so happy to have her. We get the prep work done first, as always. On my very early and more innocent times in the doll customizing world, I bought this body from eBay thinking it was from an original Monster High doll. When it got here, I realized it was one of those Chinese copies and I noticed very quick the differences. I kept it thinking it might turn useful in the future and you know what? I think I'll use it for this custom. This way, I also save myself the long process of changing the skin tone of the body too. With that said, let's turn that green face into a more natural color, shall we? I use Poppin Atelier's pastel technique to do this. Very soon I realized my mistake though, because Mr. Super Clear kept making the color darker after sealing, and it did not match the body at all. <laughs> Looks like a tan gone wrong. There was nothing I could do but <sighs> to start over. And this time I went for a lighter tone, hoping the Mr. Super Clear would get it dark enough to match the body. I also cut the little vampire tips of her ears. We don't want a vampire L. Or do we? Happy with the new color, I can finally begin the face up. Let's talk about the show a bit. I really loved season 1, it got me totally hooked, and I ended up watching all the episodes in just 2 or 3 days. But I gotta be honest, and please don't throw anything at me guys, but season 2 didn't make it for me so much. I don't know why, it just lacks some of the intrigue I felt from the first one. My favorite character is definitely the good Sheriff Hopper. Gotta love the soft-hearted Grumpies, right? Which one is your favorite character, Millis? And any particular reason why? We add the finishing touches, some gloss, and the face-up should be all done. And that's when tragedy struck. I couldn't really see it with my lamp light, but the next morning I could clearly see this horror. The pastel cracked everywhere. I was in shock. But talking to some of the other YouTubers, we realized that the problem might have been too many layers of sealant. I think I did almost 20 with the pastel work, and usually I don't go over 7 or 8. Nothing I could do at this point, so <sighs> that was just how many layers I needed to change the skin tone. Moving forward, let's do the hair. Remember the technique I used for Lyra's shaped side? Same process. Cut some of the fluff, draw the hairline, add glue to the scalp, and put the fluff on top, making sure to cover the whole head and any bald spots. After it dries, we go over the whole hair with another layer of glue to set it. The clothes are very straightforward. 
We get our patterns ready as always and sew everything together. I'm just basically reusing the patterns from Blossom's dress and Buttercup's jacket here. I use acrylics to paint the details on her socks. The only thing left are the shoes, which I did completely out of polymer clay. And they ended up looking a little bit too ballerina on point. And with those done, we got our little L ready to go kick some evil butt. Making 11 was really fun, although I'm really disappointed about the whole cracked face deal. My cousin said, so what? It looks like all the lines she got on her face at the end of season 1. <laughs> that was funny. I was planning to put her up for sale, but after the seal and fiasco I think she'll better stay with me to join my doll collection. I'm happy with her face up anyways. Thanks to all my wonderful patrons, who saw the fail as it happened. All your support and faith is forever treasured. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video, my wonderful Millies. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you join the Millie gang, and also so you don't miss any new uploads. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!